now uh, in the in the last in a part one we have stopped here so in the part of one what we have done is we yeah yeah okay so here what we have done is we just created the cube and later after creation of the cube the modeling part will be over after that we have extracted the data from flat file to psa that one that one is the extraction part is over now the loading part ps data loading data moving the data from psa to the cube so in this we have to right click on the cube create transformations and in the transformations we have to create it as data source in the data source what we have is we have created something of jh which we'll start with jh just check that so it's jh underscore jhs underscore ds2 pc underscore file is the source system and we just say okay since we have given the exact names of it automatically all the all the things are uh, automatically mapped here and uh, employee number i think we didn't drag it and drop on this on the cube employee number maybe it is not there in the what you call uh, the queue maybe we have not created uh, just activate this once it's been activated no yeah activation is mandatory yes so here in case like you know if let's say this one is not there basically since we gave the info object names at the data source level we have got this but if you don't have it you can still map it like this employee name into employee name like this we can map it like this so and then employee number we don't have it just i'll cross check that info objects in the info products only q the cube or oh, employee name is there employee number is not there fine uh, what we do is we will continue with this okay. and uh, you know uh, employee number also if you drag if you would have dragged and dropped it would have come here on the right side so uh, right uh, it would have come in here on the right side so what we'll do is we have to once the transformations are been done we have to right click on the dtp which the dtp folder will be by default getting created after once the transformations are done so right click on the dtp create dt data transfer process and just say okay and once you say okay in the extraction part we need to make it as full upload delta upload we can use it only when we have uh, what you call when already the initial update has been done only the changes have to be updated for example let's say you are you have run uh, delta uh, you know initial update for the first time every day you want to update only those records which are you know newly newly loaded so in that case what we are going to do is we are going to take it take, it, take this as delta but since it's a full upload means it's an initial update we are going to take it as full and in the execute part this once you activate this execute button will be enabled so once the execute button is enabled execute now what are we doing at this stage is we are putting the data from psa to the cube so uh, initial first phase of the data we, what we did is we created loaded the data from the flat file to psa now from psa to cube is what we run we have to select this click on contents and we have to say field selections for output select all and execute so once you execute you will get this data here this is the data that we have okay right yeah this is the data that we have okay so so the data has been successfully loaded into the uh, cube uh, and we can check the data we can check the data from here as well we can right click on the cube display data and field selection for output uh, every field will have a surrogate id surrogate id is a id which automatically system creates that so surrogate id if it is if some data is not it repeated again and again 
for that surrogate id will be the same since we all these records are been new the surrogate id is different for all okay so fine so once it has been done the data has been loaded here it's done okay mm. 